Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make this Batman Boutique hair bow. Okay, and here is a look at all the supplies that I will need to make my Boutique hair bow. So starting with the ribbon, this is all grow grain ribbon. I've got uh, three eighths. These ones are all seven eighths. This one is seven eighths as well. Uh, this sparkly, shimmery, it, it's it's not grow grain. I, I'm not really sure what type of ribbon it is. It's definitely not mandatory. You can make a beautiful bow just using um, grow grain ribbon, but I wanted to have a little bit of extra sparkle on my bow, so I'll be using this. I have measuring tape. I have bottle cap images, a round hole punch to punch out the bottle cap images, epoxy stickers, a bottle cap, an alligator clip, that's what uh, will clip the bow into hair. I've got a needle and thread. For my thread, I like to use embroidery floss when I make my boutique hair bows, just because I like the thickness of embroidery floss. I've got a lighter, scissors, and a glue gun and a glue stick. So I'm going to start by making the bottle cap. These bottle caps, they are an inch. The bottle cap images, I buy these sheets um, from various sellers on Etsy. I don't make them myself. And then I've got the hole punch here. I like to open it when I punch out the bottle cap image just because, I don't know, I, I feel like I can see it a bit better when I do. So I'll just center that in there and pop it out. Like that. And then I'll take one of these epoxy stickers. You can buy these in various thicknesses. I have found that, I don't know, it really doesn't matter how thick or how thin of ones you buy. It doesn't really seem to make a difference. And then just get that on like that. And then I just glue gun it in. And that's it for making the bottle cap. So I went ahead and I cut the ribbons into the lengths that I will need for the bow. Before you make a boutique hair bow, it's really important that you think about what colors you want where on the bow um, so that it looks symmetrical and looks um, good. So this and this, so one seven eighths and one three eighths ribbon. Uh, these ones I cut into 15 inches. This piece, it's a three eighths ribbon and I cut it into four inches. And then these ones, these are all cut into five inches. So I've got two, two, and normally you could use three of the same color, but because I want my center to be sparkly, um, that's why I don't have a set of three here. And because this is a gold, I'm going to just, and it's kind of a flimsy ribbon, so I'm going to back it and I'm actually going to just glue those two together to make it more stiff. But typically, if you're making a boutique bow without a sparkly piece, you would have two five inch pieces in a different color, two five inch pieces, and in a different color, three five inch pieces. So I'm going to start with my 15 inch piece of the seven eighths. First thing I do is I put the two ends together and I take 
just like that. And I take the one end and I flip it. And now I'm just gonna cut on a diagonal. And I'm going to heat seal the ends. So by heat seal, I mean I'm just going to take my lighter and kind of burn the ends. And that's so that um, the ribbon doesn't start to unravel. And I, I always do both sides. And then you can kind of feel it. You can tell if uh, pieces are going to fray off or not. Okay, so that's that's good for that. Next thing I do is I just kind of make creases on it. So I put the ribbon and I make a crease here. And then I fold it. And I make a crease here. And now onto the creases. Okay, so I take the one end and I put it to the middle, but not like that. I flip it like this. Okay. And then this end, I put it to the middle and then I flip it like that. So I've got kind of like an infinity looking sign. And now the ends. I just put them into the center like that and like that. So I get this and now on my thread, I already, I already tied a knot on the bottom. So now I just do Just a bit of a running stitch like this. Like that. This needle's maybe a little thick, hard to pull through. And then I just kind of scrunch it and then wrap the thread around it a couple times so that I get that. And now I just will tie it off on the back. And then just cut that excess piece. So that's the first piece that I'm going to make out of my ribbons. Moving on now, I'm going to work with this piece. So this is 15 inches of a 3 8 ribbon. And to start, I'm just going to heat seal the ends. Okay, so with this piece, I put the ends together and I make a crease so that I can kind of have a guideline. And then I put it, I put it not quite all the way and make a crease. This is the part that I find the hardest on the boutique bow, actually. It's hard to make, because this is the part where I'm going to have like the four loops. And uh, it's hard to make the loops even. So the first one, I'm going to put hot glue exactly on that crease. 
and I'm going to put the end and glue it down. Okay, so again, I kind of flipped the ribbon. I don't know if you guys caught that, but and then here again, I'm going to take this and you always flip it. So if you see, that's another crease from when I folded it. So I take it and I flip it. And then when I glue it down, the crease ends up here. Okay, so that then I have equal kind of bunny ear looking things. And so I'm gonna hot glue that down. And now the next one, it's the same concept. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna flip it. So I'm holding on this next crease from when I folded it. And I'm gonna just flip it like this and bring it in. And then I always you leave, like these two are side by side. I leave a little bit of a gap here and that crease will be again right under and I'm gonna put some glue and now my last one again same concept but now I'm at the end and I'm just gonna take it. So take it in and flip it like that. And now this one, I always have to kind of move it out a bit so that the little, I don't know, kind of bunny ear looking things are all the same size. So when I glue it down, it will be about halfway on this ribbon here. So I'm gonna put some glue here. And glue that piece in. Okay, so the completed piece looks like this. I've got these two loops. They're right side by side, really. And these two loops, they're right side by side. And these loops here, they're not side by side. There's a bit of a gap there. And the reason for that is because now we take this piece that we just made and it's going to go like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue that in. So how I glue it in is I just put glue piece. I just put glue in here like that. And then I put this inside. Like that. So now that we have this part completed, um, we can put the bottle cap in the middle. So just in there. So I'll just hot glue it in. And if you want to make um, a much uh, simpler, quicker, easier bow, there you go. You can make one just like that and stop there. Okay, so now the next section 
will be the pinwheel section. Uh, these are all cut into five inch strips. And what I always do is, I'm not going to do that one just because it's made of something else, but I'm going to just line them up. I'm going to put them all together. And, you know, even though I measured each piece, they, they always end up being slightly different. And the difference does show up on the bow. So I always line them up and just kind of cut them so that they're all as close to the same length as I can get them. Like that. Okay, so now what I do is I'm gonna cut each one, cut like a triangle shape out of each one and heat seal. So to do that, I put them together, I fold and then I cut so that I get like that. And now I just heat seal in there. And to heat seal, I always fold down the corner. Like that. And I'll do the other end. And now I do that to every single one of these pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all these uh, pieces of grow grain ribbon. All right, so I've got all those pieces uh, cut and heat sealed. And then I'm going to also cut that triangle out of this one, the sparkly one. This one I don't need to heat seal. Um, because this one, it, it does not fray, so there's no issue there. Okay, and like I said, this ribbon, it's not stiff enough. So this one is going to be going over this one in a minute. But first of all, I'm just going to make my pinwheel shape. So I'm going to have yellow in the middle. And then you always want to match. So my next two will be black, like that. And then my next two will be the yellow. I could have used um, black with the white dots, but solid color ribbon, I can buy it for cheaper. So I try to strategically use solid colors whenever I can, uh, just because it does save me money in the long run. And it still looks beautiful. Okay, so here I've got my pinwheel shape. And you have to be really careful to get it pretty neat, otherwise your bowl will just look kind of sloppy. And I'm gonna um, stitch this and then I will be adding this shiny piece in a second here but okay so I always put my finger in the middle and then pick it up very carefully and I'm just gonna give it a look over make sure it's yeah you don't want to have any big gaps or too much overlapping. Kind of want to just have it pretty precise. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna just 
just do a few stitches on it. Just gonna make This all gets covered up, so if you're not the neatest hand sewer, it really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to make sure my pieces are kind of where I want them. And then I'll do one more X here. And I'll just knock this off. And just cut off the excess there. So there's my pinwheel and now I like to make my bows pretty pretty stiff like you can have them flimsy like this um, but I like mine stiff so I always just now go through and put hot glue between each uh, each ribbon like this. Okay, and just get all these glue stick strings off. So that's how my pinwheel looks. And you could just leave it like that, but I am going to do the shiny piece in the middle. So I'm going to glue that down. right over top of this solid yellow piece in the middle. Like that. And now I just put this piece here. So I can go ahead and glue that down. Like that. And now the final thing that I do. So this was the little four inch piece of ribbon. And I'm just gonna heat seal the ends here. I always make my alligator clips lined. So that's what this is for. So I just put it in the alligator clip 
and I glue along there. Like that, and then I just fold it over. Definitely use too much glue, but and now I'm gonna glue here and here and just wrap this ribbon around it. There and some there. Okay, so now my alligator clip is lined like that. And the next thing is just to glue it on to the back of the bow. And I'll be able to cover up my messy stitches <laughs> when I do that. And there you go. All right, and here is the finished product. I sell bows like this uh, in my Etsy shop, Missy's Tutu Boutique. I'll leave a link in the description box. And if you like this tutorial, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody.